Hello and welcome to Learn Something New, the blog where we explore fascinating topics and share them with you. I'm your host, and today we are going to talk about one of the most influential and beloved popes in history, St. John Paul II. St. John Paul II was born as Karol Joseph Wojtyla on 18th May 1920, in a small town called Wadowice in Poland. He was the youngest of three children, and his father was a retired army officer. His mother died when he was only nine years old, and he lost his older brother, a doctor, to scarlet fever when he was twelve. He grew up in a devout Catholic family, and he loved sports, theatre, poetry and literature. He also learned several languages, including Latin, Greek, French, German, Italian and English. When he was 18, he moved to Krakow to study at the Jagiellonian University, but his studies were interrupted by the Nazi invasion of Poland in 1939. He had to work as a manual laborer in a quarry and a chemical factory to avoid deportation. He also joined an underground theatre group and a resistance movement against the Nazis. During this time, he felt a calling to the priesthood, and he secretly studied theology under the guidance of a local bishop. In 1942, he entered the clandestine seminary of Krakow, and he was ordained as a priest on 1st November 1946. He then continued his studies in Rome, where he earned a doctorate in theology. He returned to Poland in 1948, and he served as a parish priest and a university chaplain. He also taught philosophy and ethics at various institutions. He was known for his charisma, his love for young people and his passion for social justice. In 1958, he was appointed as an auxiliary bishop of Krakow by Pope Pius XII. He became the youngest bishop in Poland at the age of 38. He participated in the Second Vatican Council, 1962-1965, where he contributed to several important documents on religious freedom, ecumenism, and the role of the laity. He also defended the rights of the Polish Church against the communist regime, which tried to suppress religious activities and persecute clergy. In 1964, he was promoted to Archbishop of Krakow by Pope Paul VI. He became a Cardinal in 1967, and he was one of the most influential figures in the global Catholic Church. He travelled widely, visiting many countries and meeting with various leaders and groups. He also wrote several books and articles on theology, philosophy and spirituality. In 1978, after the death of Pope John Paul I, who reigned for only 33 days, he was elected as Pope by the conclave of cardinals. He took the name John Paul II in honor of his predecessor and Pope John XXIII, who initiated the Second Vatican Council. He was the first non-Italian Pope in 455 years and the first ever from a Slavic country. His pontificate lasted for more than 26 years, making him the third longest reigning pope in history. He was also one of the most traveled popes ever, visiting 129 countries and covering more than 1.2 million kilometers, 745,000 miles. He drew huge crowds wherever he went, especially among young people, whom he called the hope of the church. He also reached out to other religions and denominations, seeking dialogue and cooperation for peace and harmony. He was a strong advocate for human dignity and human rights, especially for the poor, the oppressed and the unborn. He denounced violence, war and injustice in all forms. He also promoted a culture of life that respected God's plan for creation and human sexuality. He upheld the traditional teachings of the church on moral issues such as abortion, 
contraception, euthanasia and homosexuality. He was also a man of deep prayer and devotion. He had a special love for Mary, the mother of Jesus, whom he entrusted his life and his papacy. He also had a great devotion to Saint Faustina Kowalska, a Polish nun who received visions of Jesus' divine mercy. He canonized her in 2000 and established Divine Mercy Sunday as a feast day for the whole church. He faced many challenges and difficulties during his papacy, such as the assassination attempt on his life in 1981, the sexual abuse scandals involving some clergy, the rise of secularism and relativism in the modern world, and his own declining health due to Parkinson's disease. He endured them all with courage, faith and hope, and he never stopped proclaiming the gospel of Christ to all people. He died on 2nd April 2005, at the age of 84, in his apartment in Vatican City. Millions of people mourned his death and attended his funeral, which was one of the largest in history. He was beatified by Pope Benedict XVI on 1st May 2011 and canonized by Pope Francis on 27th April 2014, along with Pope John XXIII. His feast day is celebrated on 22nd October, the anniversary of his inauguration as Pope. Saint John Paul II was a remarkable Pope who left a lasting legacy for the Church and the world. He was a man of God, a man of the people, a man of culture, a man of dialogue, a man of peace, a man of joy. He was a saint for our times. Thank you for listening to this episode of Learn Something New. I hope you enjoyed learning about Saint John Paul II and his amazing life. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to our blog. And don't forget to tune in next time for another interesting topic. Until then, God bless you and goodbye.